Hi guys, welcome back. Happy Sunday. So today we're going to do another tutorial, which is going to be a lot of fun. Um, you're going to need some tissue paper, any color of your choice. I did learn while doing this though, if you use a darker color tissue paper, you will get better results, okay? So your tissue paper, you want to cut into little pieces um, and you can choose whatever colors. And then you're going to want to use um, some sort of canvas or um, a multimedia paper or watercolor paper, something that can absorb water, okay? So the first step that you're gonna do is you're gonna take a spray bottle and you're going to spray that water paper down and you're just gonna spread the water on the paper, okay? So then your background is nice and moist. There you go. So now you're gonna sit there and you're going to take each piece of tissue paper and you're going to layer it onto the paper so that it sticks to the back because of the water. But then you're going to take your spray bottle and put a nice little bit of water on top and make sure that that paper really sticks down. And you're going to continue to do so along the paper. Now you can either go one full color, like line of the same color, or you can mix and match, whatever you wanna do. You can really make sure that those tissue papers are overlapping, or you can kind of make sure that there's some little white spots. Totally up to you. The way that you layer the tissue is going to help determine how the design comes out onto your paper. Now this is a little bit of a process, and this does take some time, so it, is a quick tutorial to show you, but after you do this step, you will need to let this dry for quite a while. The tissue paper has to become fully dry, and then once it is dry, the color seeps to the paper and you lift the tissue paper off, okay? So what I'm showing you right now is how to get this process started. So then after you do this part, and it is dry, then you can continue on. So as we see, it almost looks like a mosaic pattern in a way, okay? And you're just gonna continue going all the way down your tissue paper, or your paper, I mean, with your tissue paper until your paper is completely full, okay? Now, once it's all done, I know this is kind of hard to see because of the fact that it is so light, but when it's up close, it's really, really pretty, and it gives you like this beautiful tie-dye looking effect, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some black markers and I'm gonna turn this into a line drawing. And that's gonna give me this beautiful tie-dye looking purple pink in the background. And I'm gonna have a really pretty picture on top. So I'm gonna start right over here in a corner. So then as you keep going, you end up getting these beautiful little bursts of like tie-dye color coming through the back of your picture. And no matter what you put on it, it makes this like unique looking little vibe and it's really cool. You can give them out as gifts, you can make a couple to hang on your wall. No matter what kind of tissue paper you use, it'll give a different kind of like tie-dye effect. Again, I do say I would go with darker colors because it does seem to work better. But these light, beautiful pinks and purples are also really nice, especially for springtime. So I hope you guys enjoyed this last tutorial and I hope that you guys have fun making all of the things that I've shown you over the last four weeks and enjoy the rest of your June and the rest of your summer. Take care. Bye guys.